Hey everybody, this is Ray Halstead and Andrew Mill with RHCPA. Today we want to talk about donating your timeshare to charity. Um, you know, we go to various uh, charitable functions and auctions, and a lot of times you'll see these timeshares being auctioned off. And um, uh, we run into clients a lot of times that think that they're able to take a tax deduction for donating that week of a timeshare. I've got Andrew McMillan here with me today. Andrew, what can you tell me about the about the deductibility uh, of timeshare for charitable purposes. Yeah, so if you donate the usage of a timeshare, let's say for a week to a fundraiser to be auctioned off, um, unfortunately, that is not a tax deduction. You can't write off the, the, say, the fair market value of that week, which you could have gotten if you rented it to someone else. Um, it can be a bit of like a, a little bit of a gut punch. You know, you're kind of like, what? Like, does that, that doesn't even really make much sense. But but that is the IRS rule, and it, they're pretty black and white on it. So what they say is you can't take a tax deduction for um, less than the entire interest in the property. So it's a partial interest rule. So in other words, you can't take a tax deduction that's just for something that you still own. You know, that, that's kind of their, the, the IRS and the, the, the tax law stance on it. So... Um, so how could you get a deduction for it? The only way to really get a tax deduction for, for your timeshare is if you actually donate the entire, the, your, your ownership, ownership, your entire ownership, not just a partial, not just one week or a partial interest, like your entire ownership in the timeshare. Um, but that, that can become very challenging because just inherently timeshares kind of have a negative equity, like a negative value to them. Um, so most charities don't even don't even don't even accept those as a charitable donation, but um, but that would be the only way that you could actually take a. Tax Why would they have a negative value to? Them? Well, they have like annual. There, there's fees involved. Oh, on so there's costs basis. in maintaining because it's already been done, and right. so there's I, cost to maintain. So it'd be almost like shifting a liability to the charity. <laughs> Correct. So yeah, you got rid of your debt, yeah. well, rid of your liability. But so the chair, so the charity usually, if they are going to accept it, they would want to make sure that all those maintenance fees are somehow paid up front, fully paid for. Gotcha. So there's no ongoing cost there to 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 maintain it. Yeah. But uh, it's tough to do if you want to try to get a tax deduction for this. Well, that's really good information. So if you are considering uh, donating your week at a timeshare um, and you want to understand the tax implications of that, uh, feel free to give us a call and we'll help you out. Thanks.